Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. This video is in the middle of like a nine part mini series where each video is only a couple minutes long, but I'm going through the syntactic awareness routines. There's nine of them, and I believe this is like video number four. So if you don't know what I mean when I say syntactic awareness, and you don't know why it's important or what I'm even talking about, go back to the playlist, start at video number one, and work your way down. All right, here we go. This routine is probably the one that you have probably been doing forever. But if you've never done this in the name of syntactic awareness, then, you know, I, don't, I just feel like when you have a, a specific intentionality behind something that you're doing with students, it changes the vibe. I don't know, like you're just a little more careful about checking to make sure that they are with you or I, I don't know, just, at least that's how it is for me. So just having them do a worksheet where they have to identify the punctuation mark okay, knowing that this is an exercise that's going to tell me whether or not they are able to make a choice that makes sense, that's very different. So this routine is called, let's end this, okay? So like we're done. So And so in this routine, it's just that. You give them three sentences, they have to listen to the sentence and decide what punctuation mark goes at the end of it. This is probably the fastest one. If you want them to practice handwriting and sentence structure, you can have them copy it down on a whiteboard or a sticky note, but then they have to pick the punctuation mark that goes at the end. So of course, you're gonna do a little instruction around question marks, exclamation mark, marks, and periods when they're appropriate, etc. But like literally, that's it. That's the routine. It's so easy, but it is building really strong grammar ears. Here's a little footage of Let's End This. Next routine. Oh, this one's easy. Everyone say, let's end this. Let's end this. It's over. It's over. You'll notice there are three sentences here, but they do not have a punctuation mark at the end. I'm going to read the sentence out loud. You're going to think about the sentence, and you're going to tell me which punctuation mark needs to go at the end. It might be a... That might be a... That might be a... First sentence. I want to go home now. Period. Draw it on your board for me, actually. Don't write the sentence, just write the exclamation point. So draw this, or this, or this. I want to go home now. Listen to the way I said it. I didn't say, I want to go home now. I said, I want to go home now. Right there. Did you plant the seed? Did you plant the seed? Are you guys sure? You're positive? Good, you should be. Yes, that is absolutely a question. Last one. I am at school. What kind of punctuation mark are we going to put? I'm at school. I am at school. Easy peasy. Absolutely. Now, here's the trick you have to remember these every single time you write because otherwise your writing won't make sense and that's the whole point of these activities does it make sense all right excellent all right let's see our next routine i think there may be one or two left 